good. Hopefully everybody had a successful day. I need people to start having successful days. We 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 encountering so much shit out here. And, and granted, I know the pandemic's got a lot to do with it. But we we encounter so much bullshit out here that we we're not getting things done. I mean, we we we're encountering people and and in in individual situations that are just not fruitful for our existence. I mean, we wearing masks in this bitch, y'all. We wearing masks. I wear masks. I wear gloves. I mean, I got to protect myself. I got to protect myself because I got to protect my family. You know, I'm virtually the only one that leaves the house on a daily basis. So if anything comes in that motherfucker, it's it's me. So I got to do what I got to do. But what we encounter out here in these streets is just something so different. You know, I, I just left Kroger's and... And, and I know a lot of people, y'all, a lot of people ain't going to see the video, so it ain't going to matter, but uh, go to a lane with a black cashier if you're in the store. Make a point of going to the lane with the black cashier. I'm not saying avoid lanes with white cashiers, but go to the lane with the black cashier. And the reason, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm on some tribalism shit right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really on some tribalism shit. I'm not trying to cut out anybody, but I got to make sure that I include some folks. And far too many times I've seen people literally not go to the black cashier's lane for whatever reason. I don't ask, why did you dip and not go here and go there? Sometimes it even be a longer lane. I see motherfuckers about to go to the cashier and they end up opting to go to a self check versus going to a black cashier's lane. Now, there's a few things that I could throw in there, a few stereotypical things. You know, I mean, some people don't want to deal with a black woman as a cashier because you've got the whole angry black woman stereotype. And then you flip it and, and, and put a man in there. Then you got a man, you know, he, he ain't got the sense. Now, I don't know what it fucking takes to scan groceries across uh, infrared sensor. But a lot of people just figure if you have meager intelligence, you're not worthy. But think about this. You don't fill out job applications anymore. You have to go online to fill out a job application or be computer literate enough to fill out a job application. And if the motherfucker is already got the apron on and he's in the lane and ain't nobody standing over him training him he's probably qualified to scan your funky ass groceries so go to a black cashier's lane sometime you know i try to make a point of it whether i be at kroger's whether i be at sam's club i don't go to myers much anymore it's just you know myers i, I don't really like that store unless i'm hodgepodging and i need a whole lot of this and a lot of this like but i ain't got a lot of money so Ain't no point in me being a lot of motherfucking stores. But what I am doing is I'm paying attention when I go out in these environments and black folks are in customer service positions. I try to give them the love. I'm on some tribalism shit, y'all. I, I think we got too much singularity where we need tribalism. We have too much individualism where we need tribalism. We need collective uplift, not singular uplift. We can get singular uplift if you just doing for self and you ain't not try, trying to bring the collective up. I get that. So you're not going to listen to none of this. But if you really want black people to be lifted, then you've got to endorse. I mean, I, I fuck with y'all on here, but I really don't care that I'm not growing the way people think I should be growing because... I can get three, four, five hundred thousand views on Facebook to do a video and then get 50 on YouTube, 40 on YouTube, 30 on YouTube. Facebook views don't translate to YouTube views. You got to earn them stripes differently. That's why I don't get upset. Besides that, I'm not new to this. And y'all already know I'm true to this. I've been broadcasting longer than a lot of motherfuckers that do listen to me been on this planet. So you got to understand the young motherfuckers digging it. The young motherfuckers digging me. And, you know, I, I broke out to some brothers that's doing their thing. The beat of power team. 
I, I, I struck out to them today on Twitter. Y'all know I don't fuck with Twitter. I'm old. I, I ain't got Twitter yet. But them brothers is doing good work out here. You know, ADOS brothers, solid. They ain't on no bullshit. And they take offense when anybody kicks back against black men, against black women, especially unjustifiably. I mean, you can kick back. They're going to take care of you. But if you kick back unjustifiably, you're going to find out who be the power. So much love to them brothers, you know. I reached out to them. They kicked back. Brothers got to unify out here. Brothers got to codify. We can't get shit done on an individual basis. I mean, look how brother Ice Cube done, done got himself in a pickle trying to do some things for, for, for black folks. Trying to do some things for black folks. Ice Cube ain't trying to be no motherfucking messiah. He ain't trying to take over no black movement. And the way I look at it, whatever he's doing, he's doing more than what was going on. So we got to commend the brother. And Ice Cube is too straight up. He's too straight up. I'm not sure why motherfuckers coming to him like he'd be a traitor. Like he, he's the first nigga that said, I never had dinner with the president. I never had dinner with the president. I never had dinner with the president. And then he'd look at the niggas who did, and he'd be hesitant. Well, see, we know a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas that had dinner with the president. And I'm not talking about motherfuckers that win world championships and they go visit the president. I'm talking about motherfuckers that go sit right in front of the president and don't talk up for black people. That's that fuck shit. Ice Cube speaking up, now he's getting doused. With major flame. I don't even get how he could be getting doused like this. He's trying to help black people. It'd be different if he was getting doused by white people. They're like, why is he doing that? No. He stepped up for black folks and black folks said, what you doing meeting with Trump? Because Biden wouldn't meet with him. Biden wouldn't meet with him. They said, let's wait till after the election. You can wait till after the election, can't you, Cube? We don't need to talk no black politics before the election. We already got you niggas voting for us. Well, we need to talk to you before the election. And that shit ain't working out so sweet from what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of black folks not fucking with Biden and Harris. And happy belated birthday to Kamala. Didn't see a lot of posts yesterday about Kamala's birthday. All the sisters I thought would just really go in for Kamala's birthday. All the AKAs. ski I didn't see it. The AKAs, the Gamma Rays, where y'all at? Meow. Where y'all at? Y'all didn't step up for your sis? Your VP to be? Maybe. Because <laughs> I tell you, they need black folks better than a hog needs slop. And they really not fucking with black people like that right now. Kamala hopping out of private jets to talk to NBA players. Mid-level ass NBA players. I guess they more than mid-level. Donovan Mitchell, he, he's an A player, I guess, now. Tobias is uh, A to B player. I don't know who that other nigga was. I already told you. I didn't. It didn't even matter. The fact that they was meeting in an airplane hangar, jumping out of motherfucking private jets, was letting me know. They not talking to black folks. They not talking to black folks. They might be talking to minorities. They might be talking to people of color. But they not talking to black folks. Black folks ain't jumping out of no private jets. That's their way to get into the vote. Just like it was their way to get into the vote to putting them strippers up there. Putting them battle rappers up there. Continuously talking to Cardi B. Continuously talking to Lizzo. But when Ice Cube wanted to talk to you about the black America agenda, you said let's wait till after the election. You put Cardi B and Lizzo, some strippers, and some no-name battle rappers in front of Ice Cube and black politics. How you gonna get the black vote? I don't see it. I don't see it. And like I said, I'm on some tribalism shit. We need to codify. We need to come together, and we need to get this shit right. And I've already told my brother Ja'Kai, it starts with us. If black men can't align, ain't none of this shit getting aligned. We are the backbone. 
They want to keep talking that shit about how the women control the Democratic Party? Okay. How come y'all looking for the black man's vote so bad if they control the Democratic Party? The black man will always be the dominant force in the black race. Always. And they don't like that shit. They want us to be minimal. They want us to be emasculated. They want us to be marginalized. That's why they love niggas like Billy Porter so much. And don't like niggas like Ice Cube. Billy Porter and Ice Cube on two different ends of the pendulum, and they like Billy's side. They don't like Ice Cube's side. All the weight they put on Michelle Obama, and they go looking for Cardi B types, Lizzo types, to talk to about black America. How come y'all ain't talking to nobody straight up about black America? Y'all talking about an oversexed performer that they don't put in front of black people to say, this is y'all representation. They put strippers, battle rappers in front of black people and said, this is your representation. Now they got NBA ballers popping out of private jets. If they really want to represent black people, why don't they go to Flint, Michigan? Why don't they go to Lyles County? Why don't they go to LA County? There's more homeless people in LA County than all of fucking black homeless people. Black homeless people. In all in some states. They done done the documentation. Because it's not just black individuals, it's black families. See, homeless done went different now. People ain't staying at the extended stay America. They done turn red roof ends into extended stays. People living in hotels and motels. Homelessness is different now. Homelessness ain't what it used to be. They done ran out of sh uh, shelters and shit. People staying in hotels. And it's not a single person staying in a hotel. It's a whole motherfucking family. A whole motherfucking black family. Y'all up there calling her Aunt Maxine. How come Aunt Maxine ain't getting some of them black people off the street in L.A. County? See, I ain't come here to play. I ain't come here to sensationalize. I ain't come here to beef with nobody. And maybe that's why I can't get more views. And maybe that's why I can't get more followers. Well, fuck it. We build it organically. We build it with content. Not fluff. Not bullshit. So peace to everybody that's watching these motherfuckers. Peace to everybody that subscribed to the video. And as always, fuck anybody else that ain't. Because I'm bringing the real, I'm bringing the truth. But some of y'all can't handle the truth. Y'all like to be lied to. Y'all anybody but Trump motherfuckers, y'all love being lied to. I ain't gonna lie to you, baby. I ain't gotta lie to you. We ain't fucking. And I don't owe your money. So I ain't gotta lie to you. Eat a dick twice. So yeah, where I'm at at this point, I'm on the tribalism shit. I'm gonna pull my people together. And then, you know, the crazy thing is, a lot of the motherfuckers that I'm gonna try to pull together, they ain't gonna come. Griff already told me they ain't coming. He said, buff, everybody ain't gonna come. I was like, I got it, I got it. So I ain't gonna try to pull everybody. I'm gonna invite you nicely to the table. And I guess the table right now is a Zoom conversation, shit. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna invite you. And if you don't show up, you won't be invited again. We gotta learn to talk things out as black men. Stop walking around in the streets mean mugging each other. Nigga, you wearing masks, can't nobody see what you really thinking? Say hello. You can say hello to a motherfucker. He ain't got to see you smiling and not smiling. You got a mask on. Say hello. What up, though? All y'all niggas want to be hard out here. And soon you get soon you get to work. <laughs> How you doing, boss? How you doing? How you doing? But you want to mean mug brothers out in the street. Mean mugging brothers out in the street and asking your boss what he wants for lunch. You stupid motherfuckers. Black watch, y'all.
subscribe to the channel. It's for the content. That's all I got is content. One love.